Hey guys, on our last episode we learned about the mana curve and efficient board control, so if you want to know about that, go ahead and click the video. If you've seen that though, this episode we're going to be talking about the best ways to craft those cards that help you dominate the battlefield with all the tips I gave you in the last video. Now, why would I want to disenchant cards I already own? Unfortunately, some cards on Hearthstone are useless, to put it nicely. They look neat, they seem cool, but at the end of the day, if you want to be climbing the ladder of ranked play and participating in tournaments with more than a hair's chance against a razor, then we're going to need to weed out some of those fluff cards in our collection. First, let's go over things you don't want in your collection. These are the cards that don't belong, the ugly ducklings that deserve to be turned into dust, that delicious substance that crafts the cocaine that is new cards. Firstly, golden cards. You love them, they look pretty, but oh man do they sell for a lot on the black market. One of these common cards is worth 40 dust, enough to craft any other common card. Likewise for rare, epic, and legendary, they will all disenchant into the same amount of dust required to craft their non-golden counterparts. Don't want that centrally golden beast king crush? BAM! Gone! Now he's a Dr. Boom, ready to win you games and help balance out the format. Got a golden card you don't need? General rule of thumb, disenchant it. Now for the more complicated part. Here's a handy list of every card worth disenchanting, with helpful parentheses to help you know whether or not it has a use outside of competitive play. Didn't catch that? That's okay, I'll provide a list in the description. Suffice to say, anything on that list, with a few exceptions, is free game to be turned into crafting powder. Now, why would I want to craft cards? Well, unfortunately, RNG Jesus is a wrathful god, and he dishes out his fiery brimstone vengeance in the form of pack after pack after pack of cards you already own or just don't need. Yes, RNG Jesus, our lord and savior, is here to make your life miserable. Or you can just blame Blizzard for having a bad randomizer. That always works. Anywho, we don't want to rely on a random chance to get those cards we desperately need to flesh out our decks, and they certainly won't fill themselves out. So the first thing we need to do is see what we need. Do you like a class a lot more than others? Check out their latest decks on Hearthbone, Icy Veins, or whatever site you prefer. Or whatever Matt's playing over at Blizzwatch. Cool place, he's got a decent stream. Check him out, we got links below. To the point though, figure out what decks are working or what looks fun to play, what you personally want to win with, or what has been doing well lately. My recommendation would be to search for the decks with a low dust count, because, you know, we're poor. We can't be spending all of our money on illegal powders to craft, you know, golden Dr. Booms. Once you find a deck, begin crafting all the cards you need with the dust you have. Go for integral cards first, or the cheapest ones that you can use in more decks than just the one you're crafting right now. For instance, I crafted Acolyte of Pain early on in our warrior deck that we've been working on. He goes well in more decks than just Combo Warrior, so he's a pretty good pick for us. We're going to craft as much of that deck as we can with synergistic cards that can do well in other decks as well, so we can have a well-rounded budget warrior and stuff for later. We'll cover that in another episode. That said, once you've crafted as much of the deck as you possibly can, you should go win some games with it. Winning games get you gold, gold gets you packs, packs get you cards, and bad cards are good too. Bad cards mean dust, and as we've gone over, dust means. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Dr. Boom. Mm, sorry about that, got an addiction to maintain. Once you've got the core of your deck fleshed out, what kind of legendary card should you craft? As it turns out, I've made up a handy hierarchy of cards you might want to pursue. Let's take a look at this static image. Exciting, right? First and foremost, Main Man Dr. Boom. He crafts board presence. Three creatures for the price of one is explosive, game breaking, and well worth the dust trafficking you'll have to do in order to get him. After Boom though, you've got a choice between Sylvanas or Ragnaros. Ragnaros seals games upon being summoned, much like he did for the Dark Iron Dwarves back in Classic Warcraft. At the cost of being a very late game card, nothing's wrong with being fashionably late, 
but sometimes face hunters, mechs, and zooloks will be too busy tearing out your throat for a late game game changer to change the game. On the other hand, there's Sylvanas, a good mid-game card that will force your opponent to play around her heavily. She takes minions from their side, calls them over to yours after her death. Undeath? I don't know. I just wanted her to return my calls. Must have terrible reception of the Undercity. Totally couldn't be your hatred of the living. Next are your class-specific legendaries. I've listed out good ones while excluding the useless or suboptimal ones. Sorry, Bolvar, you've got no place here. You can cool Lich King, though. After that, we've got the deck-specific neutrals, Alexstrasza, Maligos, and other ones you can read yourself. My personal suggestion would be to craft legendaries with a place in multiple decks, such as Ysera, Alexstrasza, or Blood Mage Thalanos, as those would give you much more value. Once you've crafted all the stuff you need, it's time to do the one thing all competitive gamers have to do. Get good. Don't blame all of your losses on cards you don't have, as you have 100% control over that. Speaking of cards you don't have, we'll be concluding our arena run in the next video. I'll be uploading it in a day or so. I wanted to try splitting progress segments and informational segments into different pieces this time around, so tell me what you think. That said, guys, see you next video. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. This is generally where I'll ask you to subscribe and where I stop filtering out my mic, so if it sounds terrible right now, I apologize for that. I'd also like to, uh... Say, so if you click on that bottom right-hand video, you can listen to me rant on for about half an hour about the uh, skins in Hearthstone and how I feel about them, and actually how a lot of other people feel about them as well. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, see more of my stuff, click subscribe. If you want to see some of my other stuff and you don't want to have to go find it, then I have a video right there you can click. Fun, easy, entertaining. With that said, this is Cirrus, signing out. Thanks, guys.